Welcome to Bay Hill in glorious HD at Let's, Get, Let's Golf in Hawley. Okay, so we've got the first hole. A very, very good par four. Strong par four. 404 yards. It's going to need a good tee shot. Favours a natural draw flight because we've got to take the ball a little bit around that right to left dog leg curve in the hole. So we are going to be taking on a little bit of risk there going over those trees. For those of you that don't hit the long ball off the tee then it would be better to play something in the order of about 200 yards and play the ball somewhere up the right hand side of the fairway here as you can see on the course planner on the right of the screen. So my line is quite aggressive. I'm going driver. I'm going to be hitting the ball approximately 280 to 290 off the tee. Here we go. Okay, so decent tee shot up the right hand side, slight little draw. Okay, so you can see the ball tracer that we offer here at Let's Golf. That slight right to left, taking on the corner, just taking it away from the bunkers up the right hand side. An ideal shot for this hole, the draw off the tee. Okay, so what we offer here at Let's Golf is comprehensive data on club and ball. We've got four cameras that are picking up both the club and ball on launch. The club data, an important factor of what, how the ball travels and the ball signature is the movement of the shaft across the ball. We call it the club path and the direction of the club face. So I hit a slight draw there as you can see from the shot description on the screen. So my club path, the angle or the direction that I swing the shaft, you can see here is 2.2 in to out. That's, that's the sort of margin that we're working towards. Up to about four degrees in to out is going to produce a right to left ball flight. You can then see my club face was closed to that club path. So it was in between my club path and my target which produced that slight right to left ball flight. You can see the distance. I wanted to hit it approximately between 280 and 290. So I'm good on my distance judgment. I hit it 281 off the tee. The impact position was center. I'm happy with those numbers. I've hit my slight draw shape and I've taken the ball up to the top right of the fairway to give me a straight shot, a straight look at the green without crossing any hazards as a second shot. Okay, so the second shot I've got here because I've positioned it well off the tee up the right hand side, I've now got a straight view to the green without having to cross any hazards. So I've got a shot here that's got less risk. So I'm gonna go one, three, four at the flag. Always a good thing, make sure you've got plenty of club. Play long, play to the back of the green. Most of the time I see my club golfers that I coach leaving the ball short of the green because they under club. So I'm going one, three, four. I'm going pitching wedge. I'm going to reduce the distance a little. Okay, so happy with my second shot. I've hit it to just over 16 feet. So what we get here at Let's Golf with putting is really, really good because we don't have to worry about crouching down and trying to judge the tricky slopes. We get a grid on the screen. So you can see the blue lines and you can see the green lines moving across. So this is a very slight left to right breaking putt and it's slightly uphill because I can see the green lines coming towards me. So I'm going to aim to the left half of the hole. Pace wise I'm going to try and get this because it's slightly uphill I'm going to hit it a little bit long of 16 feet to try and stop the ball as it, I try to imagine that I'm going to hit a hole just slightly beyond it. Okay, so that's a birdie on the first hole. A nice score to get me started. So let's take some tips on hole one. Ideal shape is a draw off the tee if you hit the longer ball. If you're prepared to take on a little bit of risk and take on the corner. If you don't hit that ball flight and you're not so sure of taking on that corner risk, a 200 yard shot up the right hand side will give you a shot into the green, a look into the green without having to cross too many hazards. Once you hit your tee shot, 
It's a fairly straightforward shot onto the green with not too much trouble in front of it. Make sure you go long, don't under club going into that green. The green doesn't look as if it has too many slopes, so we've not got too much trouble reading that putt for birdie. A four, or even for the club golfer, a five, a good score on that hole. We move on.